Hello and welcome back to So April. So I have another thrift haul. No, I don't. Eh. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to So April. So today I have another Timu haul, and I will start off with the jewelry like I always do, and then before I get to the crafting stuff, I will show uh, these two things I got for my husband that are not like their main list of you know which. Don't think I don't spoil him, y'all. I just bought him a pole saw the other day, and it was like 80 bucks, so he always gets spoiled. So, <laughs> anyways, okay, well, first I'm going to start off with this bracelet, and uh, Stephanie from SM SMB Designs, she had one on her haul, and I think it was the same one, I'm not for sure, but I was like, oh, I really like it, and it has the elastic. And it's a good thing I have a really small wrist because, yeah, it's like, if it's perfect, I can't really, uh, I'm always, I'm directionally challenged is what that is. Okay. Um, I probably should put more rings on. I'm going to have to throw them on in a second. So, I got this pretty ring and it just has this like clear stone. And then this one is a gold one with a little point on it and then there's a blue one with the diamonds on it and then the end one and a little baby dragon my Chinese horoscope sign is dragon so I love dragons okay um I'm gonna have to take these off and put more on because I have a few yeah um, and then I also have stuff that I bought other people too so um, I got this for my granddaughter. She loves horses, and I'm not going to take out the package, but it's, um, rainbow, I, uh, you know, rainbow, whatever, analyzed, or, I don't know how you say that. <laughs> and then I got this one for my daughter, for my grandson, who's three months old, and he's teething, and I told her, I said, well, I'm pretty sure you don't put on the baby, because, you know, it's not safe, but... I said you could wear it and then he could just chew on it and I think it'd be really good. So I got that for her. And then, okay, I got, oh, I got me these. I forgot about these. Um, let's see. And I think they have little green eye, eyeballs. They're little cheetahs. Uh, hold on, I don't know if you can see them real good. And, they're very pretty. Just little cheetah earrings. And then, let's see. Okay. This, I got for my husband. So, when we were dating, um, he had a eagle necklace. And I loved it. And I know he loved it, too. And we're 95% sure that it's inside the lining of his real leather jacket and we don't want to touch it so we've just left it in there but it looks identical to the one that he had so uh, oh let's see if I can take it out of here I always forget the packages make everything I took a lot of stuff out of the packages for y'all too but here we go but yeah there's, there's that. <laughs> They're actually challenge. Okay, yeah, there we go. And then, as a, I got like a free thing, and I could pick like a free gift, and so I got this one for my youngest daughter, and I know you can see that one pretty good. It's a Harry Potter, oh, maybe not. Oh my, I didn't think these ones were going to be bad, but anyways, it's a little Harry Potter nine and three quarters and I told her I said if you don't want it I'll wear it so it's not a big deal and then I got this one for my oldest daughter um, because I realized I haven't been getting her anything and it's uh, they like to go hiking and as a child I always used to tell her you know you are my sunshine and I always sang that song and I thought well it looks like a sun but it has a compass and I told her I said it works but you might have to like tap 
well, I didn't tell her what it was. I just said you might have to tap it to like get it in the right position. So, yeah, I got her that. And then, okay, this one I had to put separate because it's, um, these go together. The only thing I didn't like about them is the crown sticks out a little, and I'll show you. Very, very pretty, like, um, but it, uh, can't see who's on my stuff, but it sticks out just a little. Mm -hmm. I am so challenged. <laughs> But it's very, very beautiful. I have to say, it is very beautiful. And then I got these. <clears throat> okay, so I had to load my fingers up and I'm going to have to do it one more time. So um, I got this red one. And, you know, I've told y'all before stab someone and they kind of try to hit you, you know, get close to you, fight them, you know, if, you, if you're being attacked on one. So that's, that's my thing. take on that. And then, I got this one. Oh my gosh. So, I love Loki on that Loki series on Disney+. Plus. And there's a Loki ring. Look how pretty that is. Has the dark stones on the side. And then the green in the middle with his little horny things. And then uh, another ring on top. So, there's those. And then, I'm not much of a gold person, but I loved that ring. I think that is so pretty. The shimmer and everything is just gorgeous. And then this is a pink. These are just so beautiful and shiny. And some of them are real silver. So, don't think that you're just going to get, you know, real cheap stuff. Some of them are real silver. And then... The one over here on this finger is like Descendants. It has the oh, let's take my, has the heart with the sword through it. So yeah, very very pretty. This one's on the wrong fingers. Uh, I have weird fingers. Like some of them are smaller on my right hand, and then some of them are the same size. I, I don't know. It's just really weird. Okay, so. I got this one. I think Stephanie from SMB had that one too. And I was like, oh my gosh. I think I had already ordered this. And I was like, oh, that's just awesome that we both thought of that. And then this one has like blue sapphire and like a crown. And it is uh, two pieces. So that kind of helps. But I love it. I'm like, oh, yes. Yes, queen. Yes. And then this one's the same size finger. So it's another, um, like, diamond type shape. And then on the other hand, I have my dragons. <laughs> so this one's an adjustable. I don't know how well you can tell. I'll just take it off. Um, but yeah, it's like a little dragon head with a little tail right there. I apologize. These are pretty hard to see. And I know this one's hard to see on my finger. And it's Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon. So yes, love that. So, I'm just going to take all these rings off. So I can get to all the crafty stuff now. Okay, so I got these little Velcro adhesive pieces. I haven't checked to see if they work, so this video is going to be like pretty long, so I'll just go ahead and test it. Oh, and before I do that, let me show you the things I got my husband. So he was thinking that our battery on, on our riding lawnmower wasn't working so even though they tested it at O'Reilly's and he was like oh it, no it's the battery I know it's the battery so I thought well I'm gonna surprise him and I got him this um, battery charger and my sister said oh just make sure it says trickle charge and 
you know, that is the kind you need for the riding lawnmower. And I believe you're supposed to put it on motorcycle setting. I'm not liable, so that's just my guess. Um, but anyways, he, he put it on there, and guess what? Battery's fine. Now, what's awesome is, I only paid $25 for it. And my sister's like, wow, I just paid almost 50 bucks for mine. And, you know, the regular price is usually 50 So I got a pretty good deal on that. And then, they have these, like, I guess you can, like, charge it in your, um, cigarette lighter. And, um, you can use it to air up your tire. And it has the gauge on it. And I thought, oh, well, I guess it, no, it's a... They have a, like, digital, um, tire pressure reader, but my car has that in the setting. I was like, oh, I really don't need that, but I like the idea. Um, now my husband does have, well, I'm telling you, he's got all the tools. He's got a huge air compressor, and he, like, wheels it up and everything, and I was like, oh, I think this one would be really nice. I think he would like it, and I think it was, like, $8, so it's, you know, you put that in on with your air compressor and then it reads how much pressure you have while you're filling up your tire so I thought that was a really nice tool to have and then I'll go back to these so these yeah oh they're, they're sticky enough to take them off the pack so yeah um and then okay well we'll just go with the velcro real quick so, they had this Velcro, and I was like, I was just curious. It said, um, there's seven yards a piece, and there's six colors. And I was thinking, oh, it's just for clothing, you know? I mean, yeah, you could use it for clothing. And I sent a picture to my sister, Michelle, and I was like, oh, look how awesome. I said, this is genius. You know, it has the fuzzy, uh, sticky part on this side, and then the fuzzy on this side, and it connects to the thing. And she said, oh, I use those for my electrical cords. And I'm like, oh, wow. I bet you can still sew with them. So I'm calling this like a dual, like, thing, you know. So anyways, seven yards a piece and six different colors. And I paid like three seventy eight. So I thought that was really awesome. And then I got these little finger ink things for my ink my distress inks and stuff and then oh I got this one for my husband too um I'm sure a lot of y'all know about you know how, how guys can um use a how they can plug a tire well this is a different type of a plug and I don't really know how it works but basically it like screws in so I thought, mm, ooh, I don't not smell good. I thought, well, he might want to try it. So, you know, I'll give that to him. And then I got these because, oh, and I'm not going to be able to open it. Um, I thought these might work better for my um, top, for my, my glue toppers that I'm going to make the little dangles off of with the jewels. Um, it's supposed to have, like, sterling silver or something like that. I don't know. And I think these have that. If not, I've got the other ones I think that might. So, anyways, they're like big silver head pin things. Which, I mean, come on. I always lose everything. I always lose those things. So, I thought that would be a good deal. Um, yeah, I don't know where the other ones are. Oh, here's the other ones. Uh, and these ones. Oh, these ones are the stainless steel, so I might have to use these ones. And they have the little eye loops on them. Let's see, can I take one out to show you? And these are really good for, like, jewelry. So if you see, there's that little bitty hole in there. But these are really good for, like, jewelry and making earrings and stuff. And... If you notice, I really try not to buy earrings or necklaces because I make them. So, yeah. Um, but I have those. And then, I thought, I'm going to get adventurous. Like, I saw some people with the crafting stuff. And they use this stuff called 
UV resin. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's really kind of interesting. And basically, you don't need, like most, like when I tried jewelry before, you need the resin and the epoxy. And you have to like start and get the right consistency and all that. And apparently with this, the UV resin, you use this and you put it in your little molds which these ones say they're for keychain oh and I dropped something these are like little keychain pieces but they if you can see it has the little plastic piece and when you put your stuff in there it keeps the hole so you don't have to worry about drilling a hole oh you know what I didn't show you all the jewelry hold on I just remembered this so I got these for my sisters my sister Michelle last uh, for her last birthday I got her some mini mouse earrings that were blue and so I got these little Mick Mickey Mouse blue ones so I thought oh that would be nice she'll enjoy that and then my sister Sherry I forgot how I moved these over to the side so I didn't lose them I got her she loves bunnies so it's just a little pearl earring with little bunny ears I don't know how well the camera's picking up but oh they're just so cute and okay sorry I got sidetracked but anyways you can use these with the little um you know with, when they have holes in them they can be earrings or they can be necklaces or I can use them on dangles on the junk journaling so yeah I thought that would be really fun and then I also got this one that so I got this one also and you just make little like gems and it has the shapes of them and everything and I thought oh that'll be fun you know I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but maybe I can like stick it in a junk journal or something. I don't know. And then I got these for um, the little dangle pieces. And it's just a bunch of mixed pieces. I'll grab a couple out of here because I always think it's fun to see a few things. So like here's a flower. And then we have a starfish and oh here's a sun you know just a few little different things in there and then see I got this out of the package <laughs> I don't see an ending on or anything but this is that crocheted lace and I had got it before but it's a very beautiful creamy color I think they called it beige I don't know but it's very very beautiful and then oh I forgot I had stuff over here uh, uh, I took this one out too see I was thinking ahead I got this black and I thought oh I don't know if I want to use that for like the bottom of a shirt or a journal cover or something but that is really beautiful and then I got, oh, okay, so I got like two or I think three of these. I thought these were going to have like the cardboard on the bottom, and I'm sure I could put cardboard on the bottom, but anyways, you're supposed to like be able to fold up your pants or shirts and then hang them or, you know, put it in your closet like on the top or something, but it, it's really kind of mm, flimsy. I was thinking, oh, maybe I could put some of these paper pads, but, um, I don't know. I don't, it don't look like it would really do a whole lot for that. So, yeah, maybe stick with fabric for that. And maybe I could even, like, sort my fabric pieces in there with Ziploc bags or something. I don't know. But I think they were only, like, a dollar or two piece, and I thought, well, why not, you know? Um, let's see, and then I have, oh, I got these because I thought these would be really pretty for the, um, with the resin stuff, and I believe they're all the same, so, and it's just like a little base where you can put whatever you want in there with your resin, and then it makes it a, um, 
pendant. So, yeah, so there's quite a few in there. I don't know how many, but there's a lot. And then, because I saw some stuff on the crafting channels, I thought, oh, I want to do... <laughs> I'm such an influential person. I thought, oh, I want to do that. So I might want to do some textured stuff and I don't know. But they're like these crafting knives and stuff to do, you know, your mixing and stuff and whatever. Um, let's see. And then, oh, and for the jewelry. Okay, now, uh, this one. Now it came in this, and I didn't see it in my package because it got stuck with my stamps. So I told them, I said, hey, I didn't get that. Well, they were nice enough, and they uh, gave me a credit right away on my account. Well, then I found it later on when I was looking through stuff, and it's just a hand thing with the 25 different um, screw bits in case you need to use it to get it, like... I got them for these because if I wanted to make this into a stone that I needed a dangle on, then I'm going to need something like this. So, yeah, I bought that for that. And so then when I found it, I felt really bad. And I'm the kind of person that I'm like really honest. And I was like, oh my gosh. So I got back on there and I was on their queue. Their queue isn't like, um, it's not like Amazon. You don't get someone immediately. So you go in their little queue and then someone eventually gets you. Well, I was on there for like two hours and then the guy was being a little bit snarky. He was like, well, I need your email address. And I told him, I said, well, I don't understand why I didn't get that earlier when they credited my account. And then he finally explained, well, we need your email account because we consider this like a refund. And I was like, okay. So I finally gave in and gave it to him. And then the email, they sent me an email the next day saying that the guy, you know, told him I was sorry and, you know, all that. And so then Timu, Timu said, you know, hey, you know, we understand, you know, you did really think you lost it. And that's why he messaged us. And then when you found it, you let us know. Because like I told him, I said, well, I don't want the company to get in trouble, you know. And, um, and I did have it. So I was totally fine with them taking that credit back, you know. And... So they said basically that, you know, since I took the time to try to make it right, that they would just go ahead and let me keep that as a credit. So, yeah, I think that is very good customer service. So, very, very nice. Okay, and then I'm going to go through stamps. And I think I actually have this stamp. So, I might have to give this to someone in a, a good email or something. Because I'm pretty sure I have that. Um, running out of places here. Okay. And then I got this one for my boho journal. I thought, oh, those look really, or, you know, bohemian or whatever. I thought that looks really nice. And then some of these, some of these things it's fine to show with the plastic on. Some of them it's harder to show what they look like because they have all the stickers on it. Um, so this one has these really pretty girls and I thought oh they would just look so pretty in like stamps or like cards or something you know and then I got this one also for my bohemian junk journal that I probably won't get to till next year <laughs> honestly and then this one I was inspired from Stephanie from SMB designs because you get two and I thought, well, how awesome is that? You get two. So, yeah. Have one for you, one for a friend. So, yeah, I thought that was just really fun. And then for my junk journaling, I got, and I don't know if I should take these out of the package. Fabric. Okay. So, this is a bunch of stencils. And I thought, well, I want to do, like, the mixed media. So... Um, I thought that would be fun. This, and some of them I'm going to use for my coffee dye paper. This is going in my fairy junk journal. And there's quite a few, but I can't think of a quicker way to show them than this. But they're very, very pretty. 
and I have, I have another package too so if you don't want to look at these just fast forward them um, and I'm guessing that's like a tree and then some pretty flowers I actually thought these were gonna be bigger than they are but it's fine we'll see if I can do these two at the same time more little trees and then some like uh, tree plant thingies I don't know leaves mm -hmm. and then I got another one wow I am like having problems today yeah, I'm sorry y'all okay but they come in the you know the little package and everything Let's see if I can do two at a time on these so maybe I can get through quicker so I thought this uh, checkered one would be good for the Alice in Wonderland and I don't care if I mix them together because they're all going to be staying in the same thing anyways but I thought they were really pretty yeah and then this is the last oh no there's three oh course um, but I mainly got it for the the tree uh, the trees and then I love the the cheetah print too and the circles will be really good for the mermaid one because then I can use distress inks and stuff and make it look like water and that's a really pretty fancy it'll go in a something I don't know somewhere okay and then I got this was a another free gift and I'm just going to give it to my granddaughter. It's just a little notebook. I thought she would enjoy that. And, okay. So now, I'll show that I've got dyes, stickers, and then some of these books. And, oh, no, that's not it. Okay. Let me go to this before the dyes. So, okay. One of the things I love for my animals um, is Soresto Flea Collar. If you have not ever had it, like if you've ever had fleas, you know how bad they can get. And I have four animals. So, once my sister Sherry had told me to get the Soresto Collar, and yes, they are expensive. I usually pay about $55, or you know, $50-55 at Walmart. And they are worth every penny, and they last about six, well, eight months to a year, depending on, you know, if you have a lot of them in your area, if your animals go in and out a lot, or whatever. So, they are very amazing. Um, I saw this one on there, and I put it in my cart, and it said it was $26, and I was like, wow, half off, that's awesome. And it, the only thing different is, it is a Chinese brand, which whatever you know it still has the Bayer symbol on it and it does say it's good for eight months I will definitely let y'all know how it goes now in Timu sometimes they give you a little promotion or they'll text you with like a special deal click on those because they're really nice so it said hey we see you like this uh, I think I put it in like the favorites or where I unclicked it or something and then that's when they gave me the special offer and they were like oh if you're still interested we'll let you have it for nine dollars but you only get one and I'm like oh wow that's awesome I have my dog wear it and it covers my dog which she's just a little uh, Shih Tzu a Maltese mix and then I have the three cats and her wearing the one collar protects all of them and the whole house so we don't get fleas so definitely you know check into the Soresto uh, I'm pretty sure this one's gonna be fine we had her collar replaced um, see I think we usually change it in February and then we change it again and I try to do twice a year I want to say September so I might put this one on in August or September but this is gonna be the next one we'll try and I would definitely let y'all know if it works or not so there's that okay and then the die cuts I got it's a little sewing machine I just had to get it it was such a cute sewing machine 
and the scissors and, and there's thread which you couldn't see on the other side and buttons and yeah I just was like oh my gosh that is adorable and then uh, Stephanie also had this which is um, I guess it looks like lace and I think you leave in uh, ribbon through there I don't really know how to do that but I'm going to figure it out and then I got some fairy dies which, you know, it has the little indentures in, so it shows that with the, um, it like embosses as it die cuts. And then, I think these open, let me take it out of the package, because I think it does, but I'm not for sure. So, oh um, no, I got it from my fairy journal. I thought it'd be really pretty as a door on the cover. Uh, I'm sure I can probably cut it open to where it can open and close and I might even use it on my granddaughters with her horse and make it like you know a little thing so there's that and then okay I got stickers I'm gonna try not to show like all of them because there's a lot um these ones are basically floral so I'll just kind of like that but very very pretty very vivid very nice oops yeah very pretty and then I got these um, some like Alice in Wonderland type um, thing. oh I can't even can't do it right okay. so there's that and there's the the guy with the little card deck and there's the white rabbit and Alice and then there's a little heart but yeah and the Mad Hatter's hat and then oh here's some little legs for her but yeah those are super cute and then these two I'm not taking these out of the package but it says it's small talk stickers but they're the black and white with the say stay simple and you know love yourself first all these little inspirational things and then I got it in the like orangey peach color no journey is too great if you find what you seek so yeah I thought those were really nice and then Last but not least, I'm not sure that is all of it. Pretty sure it is. I feel like I've torn apart my whole living room. Now, I will go ahead and go through these because they're really awesome. Um, there's four, and I did go ahead and I looked through them, and I had to separate them some because some of them, they put it upside down, even if it doesn't really say it's directional. To me, it's directional, so... I thought it would make it easier on me to show you. So, here's Alice. And I'm sure these can be like little journal cards or something. And then there's that. Alice with Humpty Dumpty. I have no idea why they put Humpty Dumpty in the story, but, you know. And then there's her with the little crown. I guess she stole the king's crown. I don't know. And then little... It's a little calendar has uh, all the months and then Alice found what and what Alice found there I don't know um, I guess she's going through the crack or something in the wall but there's these and these illustrations are really pretty on these. There's that like checkerboard look. Oh, this is a clock. That's really pretty. That would look nice on the cover. And then there's the little characters. And then here's her in her little chair. some little pictures on the wall that would be kind of fun to cut out little characters and stuff 
And then some of these are like little wallpaper looking stuff. And this looks like a little chess set. And then there's Queen Alice. <laughs> and then there's little, um, it says like through the looking glass. Um, but if the world has absolutely no sense, who's stopping us from inventing one? That's a pretty good saying. Okay. Next we'll go to this one. I thought this was really pretty. <clears throat> and like I said, if you don't want to look at these, you do not have to. Time brings roses. I think these are really pretty. And like I had said before, I had measured these and they were like 8 by 8 And this is like a brick wall and this would be a really pretty for like a little spring journal with little roses and birds and butterflies oh I love that see to me that is beautiful oh, I would so wear a dress with that on it and then these pretty little uh, tags Got the name of them for a minute. Oh, look at that. Wouldn't that be beautiful wallpaper? Oh, so pretty. And then some little journal cards or whatever. Something right on that. Love Vivian Rose. I'm pretty sure I butchered that. That's very pretty. And then here's the last one. So there's that. And then we got two more. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to put these back in their little bags when I get done. So I don't want to get them lost. Okay. I think I was a little confused on this one. But it's like a snowy horse or deer like a reindeer and there's like snow that would be good for like a snow queen or something and then uh, it's just like fairy tale stuff it says i'm dreaming of and then that's all it says and then there's some more snow and It's like a little fairy in there, and then I guess she's like a princess or something. Probably like um, Elsa or something like a Snow Queen. Uh, just says, make a fairy tale and go live in it. <laughs> so that's kind of cute. And then uh, very, very pretty papers though, let me tell you. And then, there she is again. Sometimes with these, it's like, wow, you think you're done, and it just keeps going. There's like her little castle. And the pretty little wallpaper background or something. And I'm sure you could double up on them if you wanted, you know, you didn't want the white background. You could probably just put them back to back and glue them or something or make it a pocket or something but yeah a little circle things I'm not real big on circles with stuff so yeah there's that oh well, the circle ones could actually be good in like a pendant you know maybe that might be a good idea and then there's that so now we're on to the last one and this is the last thing I have in the haul so and this is one that I was actually really excited about. Um, they had one like this in the stamp area, and these are probably just knockoffs, I'm sure. And but I love this one. There's like a unicorn and a fairy and dragonflies. I just love everything about this, and I love the colors. It's just really so so beautiful. There's a little fairy girl. And then there's 
some little tags. I'm pretty. Just like I said before, I would rather do the collages, but uh, these were actually on sale when I got these ones. That's why I got all of them. The other ones I think I pay like $4 for, and these ones were like $2 and something that day. And I was like, well, heck yeah. I mean, definitely can use them for something. So, okay. Mm, sorry, y'all. I can lick it. It's mine. <laughs> but just such pretty, you know, illustrations on there. And then... See, I thought I was almost done. Nope. And that looks like some wood. But it has, oh, let's get that close. It has like little text words in there, so that's kind of fun. And then there's a little, you could use that for like a master board, so that'd be kind of fun. And the same as that one. It's already done for you, I guess. Maybe that's why people like stuff that's already done. And then that one has the butterfly. And that's the last of it. So, okay, well, apparently when I was putting stuff up, I found a little bag that I forgot. So, I'm going to go ahead and include that now so I can put all this stuff up. So, one thing I got was this little spool thread. And that's going to go on my sewing journal. And I do not have this stuff kind of organized, so... I'm just going to try to wing it on showing what we have here because honestly I don't remember. Alright. Okay, so I got stickers. I got a few packs of stickers in here. Um, oh, fun. Okay. So these are like, there's a whole bunch of them, like castle looking stickers and I thought oh that'd be fun and either like a fairy tale journal or even with like my fairies you know thought that would be fun um oh so this one I actually thought it was gonna be smaller <laughs> surprise um, oh, and there's two, there's two necklaces, so I thought they were for, well, I was thinking they were really tiny, and I thought I'll just put them on the Alice in Wonderland junk journal, well, they're kind of actually heavy, and one says, eat me, and one says, drink me, um, but, yeah, apparently there's two necklaces, so... I don't know. And then, oh, yeah. Okay. Oh. I was just on that Alice in Wonderland kit because, you know, why not? <laughs> I was just saying, oh, I don't make necklaces. I don't buy them usually. I usually don't, but oh, this one was cute. So, you know, I'm wanting to do the steampunk journal and then the whole, I mean, the whole Alice in Wonderland. Well,. I don't know how good my camera is focusing. It's Alice with... Let's see if I get my head out of the way. Can it show it better? Anyways, it's got a... A little cogwheel up in the corner. And then a, a little heart with the ace card. And then the little white bunny on the other end. I hope that is showing up. That is so cute. Okay, and then I got some flower dies. And then, okay, I'm almost, there's only a few more things, so. It's, it's good. It's all good. <laughs> um, shut up, Sasha. So it's a big pack, and these are little sayings, like, um, this says, no matter what happens, I have no expectations, only control over how I want to feel, so no matter what happens, I know I'll have a great time, and to thy own self be true, William Shakespeare, so they're just random quotes. 
on little stickers. So I thought that was cute. And then I got this one for my um, fairy junk journal. Sorry, I'm spacing out here. Okay, so it's just a whole bunch of different mushrooms. I thought, well, those are just so fun. Oh my gosh. It has a snail on it with big old eyeballs but yeah these are just cute little mushrooms and I love them and then okay this is the last one so I don't know why I thought I was I thought this package was one coming but apparently not so more Alice in Wonderland so these are just stickers so I might have to make a bigger book than I thought with that. I don't know. And then like here's the little bottle. And then little die cut pieces. And there's Alice. But yeah, so cute. So anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. And I hope y'all have a very blessed day. And I will go ahead and let y'all go. So I will talk to you next time. Bye.